on the show, it's our review of Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Marvel Phase 2 after last year I was kind of like I don't know Iron Man 3 really didn't do much for me and Thor 2 was good but it was like you know it was just okay you know it was fine for what it was but this has got me really back on board like I said I just my faith was restored in superhero movies there's so many bad superhero movies getting ready to come out and I was just like getting really bummed on the whole situation but this oh, it's just breath of fresh air you know in a room full of farts you know what I'm saying there's just so many battles. This is a Captain America movie that goes well beyond the Call of Duty. It's a fun superhero action flick, but it also appeases my adult brain by having a smart and meaningful story that's actually about something. It's well balanced, it has a perfect tone, and it's surprising as hell that we got something this good. It is an amazing combined effort from all of the writers, the directors, the producing team, just all around good. Uh, and the directors Anthony and Joe Russo, who had previously been working on directing episodes of Community, are coming out of the gate here as fully formed artists with a message. This movie is super solid. The action is top notch. In fact, it's probably the best action of any Marvel movie I've seen. The acting is great, the costumes, the effects, the characters, all of it. But what I love most about The Winter Soldier is the story's theme. And surprisingly, uh, this is a comic book movie that is all about current real world social and political issues. Who knew? This movie speaks to us about the danger the unchecked power of the military industrial complex presents to us all. It is a serious critique of our government and this movie is talking about subjects that not enough people think are important, such as drone warfare, NSA spying, manipulation of private information, preemptive strikes, and even false flag attacks are brought up. The Winter Soldier poses the question, could our government be abusing the newfound power of digital information for nefarious purposes? Well, the answer is, Absolutely. And although this is a fantasy movie, the idea of this threat exists in real life, and this is something that we are dealing with right now. Captain America is the perfect character to talk about the issues our country is facing because he is a symbol of our country's people, not our government. And in this movie, the Cap is having a hard time believing in what the government is doing because he knows that it's wrong. And it's really cool to see a movie where the organization that Captain America is fighting is analogous to our very own NSA. And as an advocate for the medium of comics, it does my heart good to see a superhero movie that's talking about real world issues in the same way that some of the comics do. I'm really excited about what Marvel Studios has been doing lately. They've been building their cinematic universe since 2008 with Iron Man, and since then they've gone to release seven other movies, and they have three more movies in production right now, maybe even a fourth since there was a Doctor Strange Easter egg in The Winter Soldier. They even have movies planned through like 2028 if everything goes according to plan. Another thing that I love about Captain America The Winter Soldier is the fact that we're finally past the origin story phase. I'm so excited that we can just have fun with these characters and we don't have to slog through this exposition. Let's just see these characters, see them doing stuff, and that's what they're doing and I'm just so excited about it. And even more than that, I love that this movie does not have one ounce of comic book shame in it. I mean, it's just unapologetic for what it is and it has fun doing it and just thank you this is this is what i've been waiting for final justice and now it's time for our bonus comic book review we're gonna be talking about the captain america omnibus which was written by 
Ed Brubaker. He's done an amazing job with the character. And you can find the Winter Soldier story in here. You can also buy just the Winter Soldier story. You don't have to get the whole omnibus because I know that they have like smaller ones. But man, I read it. I really enjoyed it. It's so good. Like his take is... The tone in this comic is very similar to the tone of the movie, where they take it a little more seriously, there's a little more spy stuff, political intrigue, things like that. I also really enjoyed the parts about the Winter Soldier learning more about how he came to be, which wasn't in the movie, and I'm really glad that I read this so like I could appreciate him even more, because they didn't have time to like go through all the stuff, you know? They didn't have time to go through his origin story, which I'm fine with. But if you want to know more about it, you can read about it right here. In the movie, they kind of mention that they put him on ice and things like that, but you really don't know what they're talking about. And what I found out is that the reason that Bucky has been around for like 50 years, like killing people, is not because he has some super soldier serum that makes him age slower or anything like that necessarily. It's because every time he's done with a mission, they freeze him. And then when they have another mission for him, they just thaw him out. So that's why he doesn't age or doesn't seem to age because he's not really living. They just thaw him out for like a couple days and they put him back on ice until they need him again. So I thought that was really interesting. I also really enjoyed a lot of the other stuff about Bucky in there, which is a lot different from the Bucky in the movies because in the comic books, Bucky was a teenage sidekick to Captain America. They weren't like BFFs growing up. There was none of that sort of stuff. And the thing that I really liked about his character in this was like, when you think of Bucky, you think of like dorky sidekick character that's teenage, you know? It's like whenever you think of the teenage sidekick, you're like, oh, stupid. But in this, he explains that like, Bucky was the one who would go do shit that like Captain America couldn't do. Like say, they needed someone to sneak into a base and just fucking kill all the guards, you know, so they could get in. Well, Bucky would be the person to do that. He did all like the dirty wet works shit so Captain America didn't have to. And I thought that was so cool. It made me like have a newfound respect for Bucky. I'm like, dude, that guy's fucking badass. Like that guy is not lame. Like seriously. I feel like Captain America, the Winter Soldier is Marvel's most successful and definitely its most mature movie to date. And it has become the top of my favorite Marvel movies list. Good work, soldier. And for those of you who wanna hear us talk more about the Winter Soldier, uh, cause we wanna talk more about the Winter Soldier, we will be talking in depth about it in our Plopcast number 19 that is upcoming. So be on the lookout. <laughs> so if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the thumbs up and tweet this to your little friends and Facebook and all that sort of good stuff. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Tumblr, I'm on all that stuff, so. Join the party! Join the party! Join the party! Milk and the cat! Khufu's gonna be there! The Wiggler will be there! The Wiggler's online! <laughs> Tired kitty. All this, all this film and it just takes it out of a girl, you know? Yeah, she's been in my lap like this whole time while we were talking, so... Just keep that in your hat. She's alive, I promise. <laughs> she's fine. <laughs> she, see, she's totally fine. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with her. <laughs> this looks like Weekend at Bernie's. I know. She's alive, I promise. <laughs> We're gonna get her insurance policy. <laughs> see, there, see, see, she's alive. She's alive, people, it's fine. She's just tired, she's had a long day. She's had a long day going outside and sniffing around. Who knew? She did it! She did! She's surprised! <laughs> We're all shocked. We're all shocked and surprised that the Winter Soldier was so good. And they nailed it with such competence that it's hard to believe that they haven't been directing movies for years. But I have a feeling that we're gonna be seeing much, much more from them in the future. 